Storm. Morning, Matt. If you want to get in contact with the show today, it can be easier. Give us a call on 0207 173 555. Calls will cost you no more than 10 pence per minute from a BT landline, but other networks and mobiles may vary. If you want to send us an email, you can send that to writestuff at channel5.com or you can text us. Just put TWS plus your comment to 86611. Text will cost you 25 pence plus your standard network rate, but remember, not all messages will be seen on screen. Finally, if you're on Twitter, we'd love to hear from you. Do send us a message. It's at 5 Right Stuff. Do you want to be part of the right stuff? Well, if you've got something to shout about, why not join our live studio audience? Call us now on 0207 173 555 or tweet us at 5 Right Stuff. Marvellous storm, thanks very much indeed. Huge amount of emails today. Good. First topic, should the government listen to Brexit protesters? Kevin says... It's about time moaning Londoners realise that the UK does not revolve around them. The votes of the rest of the UK count just as much as theirs. Suck it up, it's called democracy. But of course, tell, Scotland and Northern tell Ireland... Tell people in But Freddie disagrees, saying, yes, it should be challenged, declared null and void, and the referendum rerun under stricter controls regarding accurate information. It is known that the three main issues which obtained a small majority for leave were immigration, cost of membership and savings going to the NHS. We rely to on all three issues and even the Vote Leave team have backpedalled on their promises already. But people... Protesters are just sour grapes remainers. They should accept the results, which was a decision made by the British people. Look how many millions of people protested against the Iraq war, but it made no difference. Mm -hmm. These people should stop wasting everyone's time and let the government go on with the task mm. at hand. Good point. Mm. Now, lots of positivity for legalising all drugs. Kate says, imagine the vast profits from the sales of drugs being appropriated by the government instead of criminals. Heroin addicts could then receive proper rehab treatment with plenty left over to run an efficient NHS with money for all sorts of expensive treatments. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one thing, isn't it, offering help, but profiteering off it is... Is it's really easy, legalise drugs, but then make people pay for hospital treatments for any drug or alcohol or nicotine damage. Mm -hmm. Make it, make it from this point on so that people have a chance not to get started. Mm, okay. And a Facebook message from Andrew. He said uh, they're illegal but still available, so clearly the law doesn't work. My main concern is with victims who are affected by drug-related crime. Think of the muggings, house burglaries and shoplifting that take place by criminals to feed their addiction. Maybe if drug possession wasn't illegal and the money was spent on enforcing prohibition was used to educate and it was used on education and therapy, we would have a safer society. Mm, I'm glad you used that. So over 17 million voters, a quarter of the population, backed Brexit. What percentage rallied against it on Saturday? The answer is 0.05%.